Well, hello and welcome to NXT, baby. Oh, oh my God. How are we doing? Are we all loading up? I don't feel like it. I can't believe we're here. After setting all these streams up, I really can't believe we're here. The last one of uh, this amazing run. These live streams have been legit awesome my voice is strained uh, can't, can't describe it <laughs> but uh, hello uh, t Taylor how are you doing Tyler hello Dylan hello Leeds hello shout out to everybody in the chat Shaquem23 hello oh man I'm knackered I am literally I'm not in a you'd see you'd have to bear with me I'm not exactly jumping around at the minute. Uh, back is in pain. I'm still full of flu. So you just have to bear with me. But yeah, it looks like we've got uh, quite a good... There's about four matches announced so far. Two tag team matches. We're getting the debut tonight of uh, Jay Von Evans. So that's going to be good. He's up against Scripps or Reggie. Whatever you want to call him. Uh, you've got NXT, NXT, cool. Uh, you've got, obviously, Henley. Uh, she's in tag team action with Kalani Jordan. Uh, Jesse Jack, I'm a hello. Also, there is uh, Axiom and F Brendan Fraser taking on the the uh, Wolf Dogs. Uh, part 2, we saw part 1 at the weekend. Uh, they got granted an opportunity... What kind uh, of computer I use? Uh, it's just uh, an Acer laptop, mate. Just an Acer laptop. In fact, it's an old model. It's it's not up to date. <laughs> so I don't know what number it is. Uh, Stephen, hello. Shout out to you. <coughs> so how is everyone? Hope everybody's well. Currently just watching celebrities at WrestleMania. I don't know why it's just on. I actually was watching Rampage for a couple of minutes. I know <laughs> that bad. Uh, I did go to bed, so I've I've had about an hour and a half sleep, so that's why I'm a little bit incoherent. So just let me warm up, and uh, honestly, after after the, what we have witnessed since SmackDown. Right up until last night, honestly. Oh, salute to everyone. Tyler, shout out to you. Uh, one Minute Wrestler, how you doing? Irish Rebel is here. Aye. Right. How you doing, my friend? Jesse, great uh, dad reveal today, like that video. I, I was trying to be funny and saying, no, look, he's still got his mask on. <laughs> Bless him. It's uh, nice to see your family in the video. It's really cool. Uh, tell him he's awesome uh, from me. Uh, are you excited for NXT tonight? Yeah, I'll kind of. Uh, I've got to admit I'm a bit more chilled tonight. I'm not as excited as I was last night. Voice is strained. So you just have to bear with me. We we will. We'll get into it. Don't worry about that. I think uh, Javon Evans, it's his debut tonight in NXT. So we're going to get treated to something quite special. I'm not sure Reggie's quite the right person for him to wrestle. But, you know what? We're going to see something good from him tonight. We've got some good tag team. We might get a new tag team champions. Uh, well, just Let's just enjoy tonight. That's what I'm going to say. There's little or no pressure on us. We can just sit back and enjoy. Uh, I feel like... The last couple of nights, it's all oh, we've been on edge. What's going to happen on Raw? What's uh, what's happening night two? Blah blah blah. It's nice to be able to just watch this tonight and just yeah, we can just chill. We can just enjoy the wrestling, enjoy whatever NXT has got for us. So yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to the most is just being able to just drink it in a little bit and just enjoy it. So we can have a laugh in the chat. Obviously, we always do. But, like I say, uh, NXT will allow us just to chill out and enjoy it a little bit more. 
Uh, we've started only half an hour before because of that reason. I don't want to... I'm trying not to burn myself out. Uh, I mean, I know I've got two days off from streaming, but my real life kicks in tomorrow night when I've got to go back to work. So, <laughs> it's no rest for me. And obviously we're back on Friday for Smackdown, so... What are you guys looking forward to tonight? I mean, obviously, you, surely you've seen some of the matches. Uh, there is four, like I said. The tag team match, I think, will probably be the main event. Which will pit Axiom Frazier versus uh, the uh, Wolf Dogs. <coughs> I to say, I'm a little bit more poorly tonight. I've been coughing all day. So, you just have to bear with me. <laughs> Everybody's just saying hello to everybody, so that's how that's good. That's uh, awesome. What did you think of the football today? Uh, we've had uh, Man City draw. What was it? Three three. Then Arsenal drew two two. I mean, two massive draws today in the Champions League. So English clubs just getting away with it. <laughs> well, the, the, it's even Stephen now going into uh, next week's games. So that's that's pretty cool. Yowie wowie. Yeah, the, uh, don't think we'll see anything from Uncle Howdy tonight. Uh, I mean, uh, I put that video out. I fact, there's everybody in the world of YouTube put a video out about the uh, glitch. I still can't make out anything in that glitch. Only the word hello at the bottom. I don't know how anybody sees anything else on that, but. I think if you look hard enough and you wish hard enough, you can see whatever you want, really. But as stuff develops, we'll try and uh, uncover it together. So if you see anything what is uh, Howdy related or Bray related, let me know. We'll try and look at it. <sighs> Obviously, uh, Bo Dallas. Uh, paying tribute to Bray, it's very important. It's it's uh, it's groundbreaking, really. But uh, yeah, obviously we saw I, I saw something. The Rock and Cody's not planned for SummerSlam. It's planned for next year's WrestleMania. What do you think of that? Do you think that's a a long way away for such a build, or would you rather have it at SummerSlam? Let me know. But I heard that they are planning that match to be at Mania next year, not SummerSlam. I think it, I find that quite interesting, to be quite honest with you. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I know. I don't even feel like myself, dude. James Chadwick, hello, shout out to you. I mean, God, I t can't believe we're here, night five. My voice is shot to shit. I feel crap. But we're in anyway, fuck it, you know what I mean? We've got, uh, in terms of stream, I've got two nights off, but I go back to my real life and do work. So that's great, isn't it? But then, obviously, we're going to be back bigger, bolder, stronger than ever on Friday for SmackDown, which is going to be unmissable! Which it will be. Absolutely will be. So, yeah, we'll chill that stream today. Let's enjoy a little bit of uh, NXT let them entertain us for a change I should have rested I wished I could have rested and be with my daughter all day yeah I've not been able to rest which is fine I've spent the afternoon with her so I've been travelling back and forth obviously from Barnsley so yeah been a busy day today but it's fine fine I've, I've had an hour and a half sleep before this stream I went to bed at 10 o'clock <laughs> I then got up. Oh, I've tried to get myself right. Uh, so Tyler says, "Hey Dave, what what next for Cody Rhodes? I think Cody versus Randy Orton or AJ Styles or Seth Rollins are for the championship." Uh, I don't think Seth. I think Seth's going to take a bit of time off. He, he looked ragged at the end of night two. He, he looked proper crook, to be quite honest with you. So I think he's going to take some time off. Uh, I think AJ would be up there definitely obviously he's moved away from LA night now uh, Randy if we get a heel Randy yeah 
We need a heel Randy. Uh, I, don't, I don't know quite how we get to a heel Randy. I think Randy's still going to be pretty much chasing down Logan Paul, maybe. I can see Randy and Kevin Owens having a feud. Because they both failed to get the job done for the US title. So, that's what I think. WWE is cooking. And NXT is cooking. What are they cooking? Cookies. Uh, roast potatoes. I don't know what they're cooking. No, I know what you mean, mate. Yeah, I feel that we're at a good time at this moment. A uh, NXT's obviously going to go through a bit of a transition come April. Uh, what is it? Twenty six, twenty nine. The draft. Going to be a lot of stars from NXT being uh, up, uplifted to the main roster. That's going to kind of leave a little bit of a hole I'm not going to lie unless we are allowing some of the main roster stars what not quite clicking go back into NXT like we we have done before oh yeah we've got Natalia tonight haven't we Natalia versus uh, Roxanne Perez so yeah that's not even been announced on uh, X at the minute but I do believe we kind of heard that last night <laughs> somebody commented on her but that uh, Roxanne was distracted by her uh, frontage <laughs> I think Nadalia took a little bit of uh, an offence to it I, I saw that I thought that was quite funny <coughs> currently just watching the celebrities and we've got Bad Bunny and loads of bunnies jumping down the ring at the minute that's uh, madness so yeah, yeah quite quite a smaller show obviously we've just we've had Raw after Mania we've got NXT after Stand and Deliver uh, Blue Harvey's Toys shout out to you hope, hope you're well my friend uh, how, how are you doing? Hope you're well. I'm not. I am literally dying. <laughs> I'm alright. I'm alright. I'll 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 get into it. I'll warm up as the show starts. Uh, so not worried. What everyone's thoughts on Raw last night? Well, what did you think? Obviously, we were talking a lot more about what The Rock gave Cody. It, it does look more more than likely that it was matches. I had a thought as well. And I, I think it's genius, and I didn't really share it with anybody. But you know what they should do? You know, to build up Rock coming back, you have Rikishi come out. You can have Rikishi in the ring with Cody and goes, I did it for The Rock! You know, like he'd run over Stone Cold for The Rock. And then you could just do that for a bit. Rikishi versus Cody Rhodes. I did it for The Rock! I uh, thought that would have been good to have done that as a meme, but uh, I never really got round to it. I never found the appropriate post. So if you, if somebody wants to go and do that, that uh, would be brilliant. Uh, Dave, Cynthia wanted me to tell you something, and I forgot. Uh, don't worry about it, mate. It probably Wonder Woman. No, in Cynthia, she said, "Don't talk about her." So we're not allowed to talk about her. Irish rebel. She's not here. Can't talk about her. So we're not going to talk about her. Because that, that's how, how we roll. Hey Dave, I think that Braun Breakit needs to go to the main roster. But he is tag champ. That's an issue. Uh, Shawn Michael, he's kind of main roster already. He signed for Smackdown, I believe. But he, he's pulling double duty at the moment. Uh, Shawn still sees that he's got value on his show as well as the main roster if you notice he don't really star on it. Smackdown but he is signed there so yeah uh, we could have that tag team issue settled tonight as uh, the uh, Wolf Dogs are actually taking on uh, Axiom and Fraser again we could have a title switch then that solves that problem straight away then the other problem is do you take Baron Corbin? What do you do with Braun Breaker on the main roster? Do you do you take uh, Baron Corbin up and do the uh, Wolf Dogs on the main roster? I don't know. It's a tricky one. 
because I kind of like Baron in NXT, if I'm being honest. So seeing him on the main roster, I'm not sure. So we we'll just have to wait and see on that one. To be to be honest with you, I mean, what do you think? Do you split them up? Uh, back up. I mean, I'm liking the uh, the wolf dogs. I think I think this is great for Corbin. It's making him relevant again. Whereas when he was on his own, he he kind of lost all relevancy. To be quite honest with you, he he hasn't got that. The last person to paint who paint Roman Reigns tag now he's lost it completely because now that is Cody Rhodes. So yeah, uh, it's amazing, isn't it? There's quite a few. I think a lot of the female stars. Are, oh why yeah, we had that announcement on Stand and Deliver about the female North American Tap Championship. Do we start qualifying? When do we start qualifying for that? Because obviously that's up for grabs soon. I don't know when that's going to start. Maybe we get a start date or the first series of matches. Uh, I could only assume it's going to be a tournament. I don't really like tournaments in WWE, but we seem to do a lot of them in NXT. So we'll have to wait and see how they're going to do that. So that could be interesting. <coughs> Obviously, that will probably lead to their next pay per view, where they, they'll have the the women fight for that championship. Jackie says Wonder Woman. So yeah, uh, like I say, it's majorly just that big uh, tag team news. We've got Izzy Dane and Kiana James versus Henley and uh, Kalani Jordan. It's going to be a good little match. We saw them in that six woman tag match on Saturday so now it's just an ordinary tag match we've got J. Vaughn Evans he goes up against Scripps I think he's called Scripps is he still called Scripps or is he back to being Reginald Simpanold <laughs> anyway he's, he's up against him uh, what was the other one there was four announced and I can't think of the other one Ah, well, Natalia probably going up against Roxanne Perez. Oh, why? Uh, yes, it was that Brinley, female Brinley, against uh, another female. There's up and coming talents. So I think they don't like from the uh, breakout stars tournament thing what they did. So we've got, we've got that. Yeah, I think definitely match to be quite honest with you. But like I say, NXT gets slept on. So, uh, it'd be nice to see if uh, we, we get something decent tonight. We are just watching Bad Bunny at the minute. I don't even know why I'm watching this. We're 15 minutes away from NXT. Uh, so, I'm just watching anything just to get to that point. So, yeah, oh, what don't feel like you guys in the chat are wanting to talk come on guys put some questions in put some work in there guys uh, you're leaving me hanging uh, what was your favourite thing over Wrestlemania I mean let's uh, talk about that obviously what, what what was the thing like from last night did you love that NXT stars were included on Raw did you like the fact that they won on Raw Roxanne Perez picking up a victory over uh, Indy Artwell and then of course uh, you had uh, uh, Dra Dragunov beating Nakamura uh, Bailey, yeah Bailey's uh, well she's always an highlight or are you just pointing out that she's now NXT yes I've included her on the screen she's, she's going to be in every stream now <laughs> Yeah, Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan last night, that was quite cool. Uh, she finally starts a revenge tour. Yeah, I feel it like it's a little bit overdue. She sh if you have revenge in mind and you're going, I'm on a revenge tour. Surely to God you've already started it. Surely to God you shouldn't be fighting Nia Jackson, buddy Becky Lynch. You should be just going straight after the one person that you have the issue with in the first place. So she, she has took her time to start this uh, told uh, revenge tour, but it started. 
Uh, good to see. Uh, what did you think of the camera angles last night? We jumped from that backstage. Then we ca cameraman got slapped by Dominic. We then followed the entire trip down to the ring. I mean, very weird way of getting that, that segment transition. But I suppose it allowed fans to get on the camera, which is always cool when you're a fan in the stadium and you, you the cameraman's going down through it. And it's like, ah, get on camera. It, obviously, they realise that that cameraman is actually alive and active at the time. Dave, hope you are doing well, mate. Ah, struggling. Just uh, tired, mate. That's all it is. But we're here. It's the last one. Holy fuck, did... Uh, Raw did two million thirty six two million three thousand and sixty two. I think that's how you say it. But uh, oh, it's amazing. Uh, that is big numbers. Honestly, you could on it when we did the watch along last night. You could see that there was a buzz. You could see that there were people really buzzing about the show I mean the chat took I think we got about 20, 23 24 people in the first hour of that stream people were hyped proper hyped not so much in this stream I, I expect this stream to be normal like a normal stream but that last night was abnormal I mean I'll contrast it for you right night 2 the views on night 2 that live stream uh I think we got to 900, I don't know if it was 900, yeah, you, you, the, James writes it down for me, I love you man, uh, I think it got about seven or 800 views, last night, over a thousand views, over a thousand views on that watch along, for a Monday Night Raw, that's unheard of for my channel, so... Just sink that in. That's how much hype there was last night. Uh, two million three hundred and sixty-two thousand. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm no good with that kind of stuff. I really don't. I do struggle with that. <coughs> yeah, there's going to be coughing. I'm just going to tell you. I, I bet you my eyes that I'm tired. I feel tired. My voice obviously is. I think even doing that video earlier on today, you could tell my voice is not the same. It's deep. It's getting deeper and deeper. <laughs> I need to go to work just to have time off. <laughs> oh dear. Ten minutes away. So yeah, just four matches I think. Well, three, five matches. I don't really know what we're kind of expecting tonight. Like I said, probably more on that announcement of the female uh, North American Championship. Maybe Julia. Maybe we see more of her. She's been hanging around with Rossi over the WrestleMania weekend. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if we... We'll get highlights from Stand and Deliver like they always do. So, yeah, this It's NXT, man. Let's chill out. Let's enjoy it. Let's party, man. The last live stream of a very busy weekend. <laughs> I can't even believe I've done five nights. Five nights of me. This is the sixth uh, pay-per-view. Sixth watch-along in the last five days. Uh, Dave, who do you uh, who do you predict will be the first women's North American champion? Ooh, that's a good, good question. Uh, okay. Uh, this could be interesting. Uh, da -da -da, I'm watching Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmare, says Stephen. It's always cool. Uh, I just think, obviously not Roxanne Perez. You know, you've got Nikita Lyons coming back. Nikita Lyons could be... Somebody, Core Jade. I think you're putting her in the main title picture. It's probably the same with uh, uh, Nikita, to be honest. 
I just like thinking of more like, but what? No, super jokes, right? I mean, you've got Sol Ruka, you could do that. Or you could do Ariana Grace. Imagine. I did it for world peace. <laughs> Ariana Grace would be fun. I mean, just, I oh, just loved how uh, she, they invited her to do, uh, what was it, the Stand Deliver open uh, kickoff show. And she's just stood there waving, like taking it all in as if she, it was all about her. I kind of like that. Yeah, I mean, Ariana. I'd put it on somebody kind of like that first, because it is mid card. It's the mid card female division in NXT. I don't really. I mean, Julia would be awesome, but uh, do you stick it straight on her? I don't think you do. If you did, don't. Oof, it's a bit pressure in it. I mean, Julia is bloody good, but I wouldn't want to slap that pressure on her straight away. I kind of wait and let the crowd get used to her first. What do you think? Who would you do it? Who would you give it to James? I mean, Fear Ale. Yeah, Fear Ale's probably a big, massive shout as well. I, th I think a lot of people would love that. Uh, obviously, Gigi Dolin. Uh, JC Jane could be fun. An eel champion to start off with. Yeah, that's it, chat. Who would you pick as your first female North American title champion? Who would you put that belt on first? That's a question. Nice one, James. Yeah, it's uh, quite interesting to get your teeth in, in it. It's nice when we've got this extra title to talk about, and it's like, obviously they did away with the female tag team titles in NXT. Oh, Blair Davenport, yeah. You know what? That's a shout, isn't it? That's a shout. Blair Davenport could do a wonderful job. Jesse says, "Fear hail." Uh, and the doors, hello, hello. How you doing? It's been a while. How you doing, my friend? Oh, little Anna Dawes is in the chat. Hello. It's nice. How are you doing? Hope you in your family are well. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, Blair Davenport. Yeah, I could see that. Everybody showing some massive love to Anna. She's very cool. <coughs> like we said, we, we, we're not far away from the show starting, which great. Actually, last yeah, last yesterday, that first hour was just insane. Uh, just it's like like I said, this one feels a little bit more chilled out than yesterday. There's not really much to talk about though. That's why I feel like the fallout has been quite quite slow. There's not really much, you know. I mean, obviously, Punk. I feel like his injuries now not as bad as it was before. The fact that he was using both arm, arms last night. Yeah. Oh, outside choice would be build her up to be a big star, but then Eva Sol Ruka or Kalani Jordan. Yeah, I feel like it, I feel like it has to be somebody what you wouldn't literally put the main title on. I think Davenport's more. She should should be in the main event. You could put her in the main event, and you just it's easy. But would you put Kalani Jordan in the main event? Would you put her up against Roxanne Perez and it'd be legitimate? Would you put Sol Ruka in that position and it'd be legitimate? I don't think they're quite ready yet for that. They, they're good. Kalani, uh, Kalani Jordan's so impressed me over uh, since she came into, uh, into NXT. But I don't think she's ready for a major championship. A mid-card title, yes. But not quite that. Uh, I'm good, Dave. Uh, I've been uh, a while now. Uh, I've been busy. Mike had a relapse with his health, but was in hospital for a while. Seems so better now. Oh, that's good to hear. Uh, Gareth15 says, Are you sat in your car? Do I sound like I'm in my car? <laughs> no, this is there's no steering wheel. Uh, but great shout. I mean, I don't know. Am I sat in my car? Gareth, shout out to you. <laughs> uh, Nikita Lyons would be another one. Nikita Lyons, she's she's been away for a while, so 
yeah, I can see what, what, why uh, they could do that with her. I think a lot of fans like her. That would be a great way of bringing her back in. So, yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, N Nikita Lyons would be a shout. I mean, obviously, if Tiffany Stratton had still been around in... Uh, you, you, yeah, you look like it. <laughs> no, it's just that it's because it's dark in it. I don't have massive lights on Gareth, to be quite honest with you, dude. Because it's like it is like one o'clock in the morning here in the UK, not or not far away from one o'clock. I don't like to advertise that I've got all the lights on. So th that's the main reason why. Uh, Fallon, JC, Fia, so many choices. Yeah, it's a stacked roster, isn't it? I don't think you realise how stacked that roster is, and they're all. You know what? There's not really a bad talent in there. Uh, oh no, Gareth, no shout out, dude. Uh, you 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 quite rightly asked the question, uh, and I don't mind answering. But shout out to you, Gareth. I hope you well. <coughs> oh, and welcome, welcome to this uh, community as well. Uh, feel free to hang around, talk to us pro wrestling, anything that you want to say. The floor is yours, as always. We don't hold back. Or you can talk about Raw, you can talk about SmackDown, you can favourite wrestlers, stuff like that. Feel free. It's what we're all about. Uh, Leeds has got to go. Shout out to you, dude. Thanks for stopping by. I mean, <laughs> I know, you're only half an hour today. Mm. But, yeah. Thank you for stopping by anyway, Leeds. You're awesome. NXT women division is... Wait, I fucking spoil. <laughs> It, what happened there? Your it blanked out. Always oh, fire. Okay. Uh, Jackery. Oh, and uh, Lash Legend could be another two. Yeah, part of the metaphor. I love that. I actually love that group. I think they're, it's a really cool little group. Very. Yeah. So yeah, J Jackson and Lash Legend. We're down on the countdown. I've got the network thing. Stand by for live broadcast. That's what the music you can hear. So if if there's a copyright, it's because of how loud this music is. So I'm gonna have to talk all the way through this. <laughs> Thank you, network. It's a bit loud, isn't it? Uh, we should be, uh, it should be clicking off at any minute now. It is 1am. It is time for NXT. Feels ages ago since we did Stand and Deliver though, doesn't it? I barely can remember it. It seems ages ago. When we did on Saturday afternoon, like doing Stand and Deliver, it's like so much has happened since then. Man. We get to relive it again tonight with that tag team match. That's kind of cool. Way outside choice, but she ain't even in the company, Camille. <laughs> that would be out there. That would be an alley. Here we go. Would they? Uh, that great start. Now, then, forever. So much to unpack on that video. Bruno Sammantino. There is. Oh, I need to go through that. Gareth, shout out to you, dude. I missed the blue line area. Roman was awesome. Oh, you are awesome. Thanks for the super chat, dude. Glad to support a new channel. Oh, you're awesome, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Oh, the bloodline's not going to run. It's not going to go anywhere. We, we're still going to get that storyline in some capacity. Uh, Asin Terrell, hello. Shout out to you, dude. Hope you're well. I do like that intro, says Steve. So, yeah, Gareth, shout out to you. Massive, super, uh, nice uh, little contribution there. Thank you so much. Always appreciated. Uh, yeah, I, I, I did, there was a, he did put out a video of him training. Oh, he was on a, like a treadmill. But it, 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 I think he's not going anywhere. I think we might see him sooner rather than later. I don't know when, but I think we see him soon. Obviously, we're just seeing them highlights from Stand and Deliver. 
that's when uh, the uh, Wolf Dogs retained their tag team championship. We're seeing the return of that match tonight. There's so much good stuff tonight, actually. It's kind of like we're getting the same kind of matches that we saw, but toned down a little bit. <coughs> <coughs> long day, uh, all day long, bro. No props. Oh, Gav, shout out to you, my friend. Uh, Liverpool playing on Thursday. Yep, they play Atalanta. Boom. Oh, we saw uh, the title change between Roxanne Perez and uh, Valkyria. Do we see Valkyria tonight? And the fallout of her and uh, Tatum Paxley. So Move that story along. I feel that they're on a collision course at some point. Tony D. There were some good matches at Stand and Deliver. Almost forgot about because of what happened with the old Bloodline Rock situation over the last two days of Mania. Looking forward to Triple H changing things up. He's only been doing it a short time. And the changes are big already. Can't wait to see the difference in five years. The landscape, it's just changing. And I think it's changing even more with the Netflix deal as well. Because, quite honest, with they're going to get away with a hell of a lot more. And they're t testing the waters right now. You know, wrestlers swearing, a little bit of blood here, there and everywhere. You know, they're not doing it gratuitously like AEW where it's in your face every week. They're doing it drip drab. Making it feel important, making it feel real. And I, I love it. So, yeah, rock dropping F-bombs. I, I don't think it should work every week. I think you, I don't think you need the rock every week swearing. I don't think you need wrestlers just swearing randomly. But I think when it hits the heat of the moment and it adds realism to what they're doing, then I'm all for it. All for it. And I think that Netflix, with it being its own platform, they can get away with a hell of a lot more. I think having that restriction of USA, uh, obviously, it's, it is a restriction. Oh, we're even doing the camera angles here on NXT. We've gone through the back into the front. Oh, we're doing it with NXT now. The, the influence of the main roster and camera crew has affected these. So we've got Roxanne Perez coming out straight away. Right, I've got one little thing to pick about this. Roxanne Perez has stolen her entrance. James, what do you think? That move there where she turns her head. Tessa Blanchard. Now we've got Roxanne Perez doing it. What's your thoughts, dude? I noticed it last night and I just thought, hang on. In fact, I noticed it at a standard deliver. It's like, hang on, that's not your uh, entrance. That's Tessa Blanchard. She does that, but she had the wink. I don't think uh, Roxanne Perez winks, or does she? But mm, it's very similar. In fact, it, it is flipping identical. Okay. Okay, what's going off here? You deserve it. Shut up. You didn't give me that a year ago. It's got me on a different page at the minute and I don't know why. I am trying to change the, the text. So Roxanne Perez is uh, just in jeans. Leather top, looking fire as always.
but this chat oh yeah we're still moving uh Roxanne is a babe she is oh there we go we clear it's a it's caught up now telling the crowd to shut the hell up lovely heel work by Roxanne Perez she's not allowing the crowd to uh, give her any accolation two time NXT champion she's loving the moment does Natalia come out we saw their confrontation on Monday Come on, let me write. Sorry, it's just that I'm on a different page. <laughs> I am trying to change the text on the screen and it's not it's not exactly responding right now, so just bear with me. <laughs> she lifts up that title, there's the music, who is coming out? Oh, it's a injured Valkyria. All right, it's not letting me write at all at the moment. It's been a it's been a kneel, so I can't. Oh, do I just get rid of that? It's uh, not letting me do anything. Oh, come on. Got a raw, got a smackdown. Well, I'm stuck, <laughs> so I can't see my own reaction. Ah, oh, come on. Let me do something. Oh, right, it's just took me straight back over. Oh, it's been a kneel. <laughs> Great. I'm just going to leave it like that because it's just going to do me flipping head in. So we'll just... I'll let this bit pass and we'll change text in a bit. Tate and Paxley comes. Out of the crowd. She was hiding. <coughs> uh, as always. Creepy, creepy. She's twirling her hair. Oh, Tatum throws her into the ring step. She's turned. He can't believe it. The crowd can't believe it. It was only a matter of time. Uh, greatest NXT match, Dave, Bailey, Sasha. Iron Man, yeah, mate. Uh, yeah, Br Brooklyn was it? Brooklyn, New York. Respect, uh, respect or whatever it was. Respect, wasn't it? Great match. I I love the stories that they told in NXT. Fortunately, the, Vince couldn't tell that story properly on the main roster, but he fucked it up basically. He rushed it. The actual story they told was way way better. Natalia is on her way. Yeah, she is. Yeah, well, we're waiting for her. We saw her. We saw the confrontation on Raw. So here she is. Is that the Queen? Is she wearing a Queen muted Queen top? What the hell? That's so disrespectful. <laughs> At least she's more covered up this time. Brooklyn uh, times were awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the matches what got me back watching wrestling, to be quite honest with you. It's, it made me excited for that female division. I had lost interest in wrestling altogether, and then I saw that. I saw what Sasha and Bailey had done. They, the, I think when you talk about the women's revolution in wrestling, without that match or their feud, we don't get half as good as what we've got now. Uh, Ava's here. So Ava's going to make a match tonight. 
It's the Averera. It's the NXT After Stand and Deliver. So Natalia Roxanne Perez for the NXT Championship. So that's happening. So Roxanne is going to try and attack Natty. Sharpshooter, uh, sharpshooter. She doesn't get it in. Female champion scappers away. So quite a cluster of a start of this show, really. So uh, Roxanne comes out. Cocky, the new champ. The Valkyria, why don't you bugger off? Tatum comes out of nowhere, ends up attacking uh, Valkyria. They all bugger off. And then Natalia comes out. I mean, it's just messy. Here's Trick. Beating Carmella Hayes at Stand and Deliver. Yo, whoop, that trick. And then there's the buddy wolf dog. So we've just got these guys just walking randomly around the performance center. Anonymous, look at this. We saw this leaked online. So this is how Axiom and Frazier get a tag team title opportunity tonight via X. Didn't plan this conversation to be made public. But now that it is, what do you say, Ava? <laughs> and this is her answer. NXT Tag Team Championship tonight. Just like we've got Natalia. Roxanne Perez. Oh, we've got uh, Axiom and Frazier. With Kelly Kincaid. Tyler Bate is dailing so Ruka. Just out there. I think Nathan, Nathan Frazier is also dating somebody as well. Ben Carter, AEW name, <coughs> and a kid who's hiding behind that Axiom mask. Uh, about time Tatum turned on Ly Lyra. Been waiting for that for uh, like a month. <laughs> yeah, it it was always written in the wind, wasn't it? it there was always going to be something. You didn't give me love. It's the Mickey James syndrome. You remember Mickey James when she was psycho stalker lady when she first came into WWE and uh, that Trish Stratus uh, feud. It's tr the treads of that, really. Female championship tonight. Roxanne Perez defending against Natalia. Good little way to uh, get a title defense, Natalia. Working with the up and comers again. Got Booker, Vic Joseph. Obviously, uh, Roxanne Perez comes from the Booker T training school. Got some Chase U. There's Henley and uh, Kalani Jordan. Kalani Jordan's with Carmella Hayes, I believe. Holy shit, Cody and the Rock segment got free, did 3.2 million. Like I said, that opening part of that Raw last night was just insane. The conversation. Oh, JC Jane and Yasmin have just turned up. <coughs> Just getting more backstory to uh, the chase you being in debt, Malarkey. Oh, 
this is juicy. Uh, Dave, did you see the picture of Bo Dallas backstage dressed as Howdy? Uh, from when? <laughs> from when? Uh, it's, it didn't really need him to be dressed as Howdy, did they? Uh, there was no uh, footage of him yesterday. Uh, every mean girl, it's very mean girl so far, yeah, it is. You're a loser. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Oh, we've got Kiana James and Izzy Dane uh, in the ring. So, tag team action. Let's see if I can actually change the text on the screen now. I don't know, because it's not allowing me to do anything. <laughs> uh, the Bray Wyatt era is coming. It is. Bo Dallas hopefully did don't F it up. There is uh, Fallon Henley looking at a swish and Kalani Jordan. They changed really, really quickly. They were wearing civilian clothes not only two seconds ago, now they're in ring attire. Oh, man, you'd think these the segments were pre taped to some. These two picked up a victory apart that six woman tag match. So, uh, Kalani J uh, uh, Kana James and Izzy Dane have got a revenge on their minds. This match starting off. Gareth, oh my friend, I believe it's going to be awesome. So, uh, Jordan, nice splits by Jordan. Still wearing a Philly-inspired outfit from uh, Stand and Deliver. Fireflies for days, yeah. That 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 visual from the uh, from WrestleMania, God, amazing. My stream labs today is completely super slow, <laughs> so bear with me because <laughs> it is it's slow. Is it gonna? Uh, this match will be over before I even write this bloody match up and down. Come on, stop being a douche. Is it that what's getting in the way? Okay, this is gonna be annoying. Right, we've got it. D Dame or Dane? I don't even know now. Nice move by Kalani Jordan. Nice crossbody. Dave, think it was. Uh, uh, I think we are getting NXT women, new women. What well, Shaki Shakim? What? What they're going to give it to uh, Dame in it? They're going to give it to Natalia. Why would they do that? Natalia seems a bit of a weird choice. Is there something on X? So I've not heard that. Doom. There, jo there we've got it written in finally. Uh, Dave, I think it was last night's Raw where he was seen backstage. Yeah, but why was he in full ring attire? Why would he be in Uncle Audi ring attire when he wasn't shown to the audience? That that we didn't see anything of Uncle Howdy actually last night? That's what I'm asking. Why is he wearing Uncle Howdy costume when we didn't even see him on TV? 
It, do, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know if if there's any footage what's gone on to X after the show. You know, when they do the matches after the show. Yeah, I don't understand that. If if I'm honest, I think the old Howdy stuff is too rushed. This kind of stuff is uh, detailed. I don't want them to rush it and it felt feel flat. Could be a disaster. It depends on how, how much they've done uh, from the start. I don't know where they are at. I mean, we heard that they were doing like uh, vignettes, putting video packages together. We don't know how long this has been planned for, is what I'd say. I mean, what we're seeing now is probably months upon months worth of work finally now playing out. I don't, f I'd like to think that there was still quite a lot that Bray wanted to do what was written down. So just playing it out on the screen now is where we're at. Because at the minute we've not really getting a lot to be quite honest with you. Because when you look at the TV, all we've had is the glitch. That before Raw wasn't meant to be, it's not on TV, so it doesn't exist in law yet. That exists only for the people what went to the event. Same with WWE World, the footage you saw on there. It's not, it's not really canon because WWE, the TV show Raw or SmackDown haven't shown it. Till it becomes TV, that's when it starts, that's when it kicks in. A lot of that white rabbit stuff was just for us at home. Wasn't on TV, wasn't played out that way. And we just got to when it finally Bray showed up at Extreme Rules. So yeah, this could go on for ages yet. So, uh, I... Because you've seen that uh, before the arena and all that. Like, don't read. I don't read into that as much. It's great that that started to happen, but that could be happening for the next month or two. That could be a long time before we get any more reveals. So, yeah, I don't think... At the minute, I don't think we are rushed. So I think a lot of stuff what we are seeing is just to whet the appetite. Uh, what does... Uh, Chris Hiller, Claire, shout out to you. What does being uh, nice get you? What, what does being nice get you? A kiss on the cheek. That's what it gets you. <laughs> uh, Dave, I'll DM you the picture, mate. No, no worries, but I just... What, what I'm asking, we didn't see Uncle Audi last night on TV. So I'm just wondering why is he in costume? What What's that about? I'm not saying he were in costume, but why was he in costume? I, I don't get it. Unless he was there for shoots that they could use in future. I mean, it's something that you'd have to look back at, at footage of uh, backstage. Was there anybody what was wearing an old cloudy uh, uh, suit while the camera was de doing all these crazy walkthroughs, the arenas and shit like that, you know what I mean? kind of makes you think hang on Chris the American dreamer do you know each other uh, da, da, da. Kalani Jordan's uh, punching Izzy Dane Kalani Jordan dating Carmella Hayes goes down still wearing their Philadelphia base string attire like I've said Izzy Dane tr tries to take out Kalani, but uh, Hanley gets in the way. Kind of James though connects one, two, three. The heel team get the victory. James and Dane. Kiana James, they get the victory. They lost at standard delivered. They get the victory tonight. Dave, I know what you are saying, but mate, uh, I can't figure it out. Here, but it wasn't full, full tiered though. I wasn't in full tired. Oh, you were full of tired. Don't know what you mean by that, Dave. It wasn't really in his full. He wasn't really in his full howdy attire. 
uh, like I say, I don't know in what capacity. Like I say, we didn't really say much. Oh. Oh, he's his debut. It's Javon Evans. He's 19. This kid is going to blow your fucking mind. We've seen lots of clips of this guy on Dazer's Unseen videos. He's been on Level Up. 19. Fresh. What we're going to see from this kid is uh, next level. This is, is the future of pro wrestling. 19. He's fearless. Some of the stuff he's doing is uh, never been done. And he is up next. We've got OTM here is uh, scripts. Reginald Simponald. So we go to our next matchup. It is Scripps. One of the worst buddy wrestlers in all time. For surprises, script it. They were doing it. All them video packages. And it was this guy. <laughs> He wore a stupid ass mask. Throwing up their versions of the ones, which is the freeze. Scripts versus G. Havon Evans. Like I said, it's not going to let me right again. Scream Labs being a heel tonight. Great. Bailey highlights of her winning that women's championship. Thanks, Irish Rebel, for all the Liv Morgan pictures. He's been sending you Rudy Nick Liv Morgan pictures. Is it from his stalker high caves? Am I the only one who's more invested in the story than actual matches? Cody has ruined me. <laughs> no, mate, no. We are all invested, but you, you don't. Oh, you will not believe Cody's story has been oh, the the actual bloodline storyline has been literally one of the best things we've seen in pro wrestling for years. <coughs> uh, quite amazing. They are really hammering home this new era stuff all over the programming. Yep, they're proud. I think they are distancing themselves from Vince as much as possible. Uh, that's what I get the feeling. I feel they really want to hammer on that this is not his production anymore. That it's it's a new era. It's got nothing to do with him. This is fresh. What you're seeing is new producers, new camera angles, new graphics. They're really pushing it away from Vince McMahon. That's what I get. Because there was a stench. There was a stench of Vince. There always is. Oh, come on. Streamlabs, let me write. <laughs> Bloodline Cody has been amazing. Look at what Blood... I talked about this last night in the Raw stream. Look at what the Bloodline's done. It's allowed Kevin Owens back into the uh, main event. It's allowed Sami Zayn... Oh, the Sami Zayn stuff with the Bloodline has, has been the best TV we have seen in such a long time the corpsing of Jey Uso it's just not feeling oozy I mean oh, come on the, the best segment you'd ever see in your life and that's all through Roman people can moan and groan about how long he's had the title that we needed a change blah 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 but look at what it's done look at how important the WWE Championship is it is right now. I mean, yeah, I don't like all the names. Undisputed, Universal, WWE... Ugh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just get it down to WWE Championship and leave it at that. 
but yeah it's just wrestling's cool <laughs> that's all I can say when The Rock says it I, I generally feel like he means it come on let me write I'm stuck on this page again and it's not ah oh, come on there we go no I don't want the name lighted up oh, been a complete heel this tonight I've been really slow but just waiting for my computer to f get to where I am which it, it's not all right, the graphic is just not doing it. Uh, give it, give it a month, and we'll be like Vince. Who's? It will be like Vince. Who? Who in? Who inside WWE? Who inside WWE? What does that mean? Who inside WWE? Give it a month, and it'll be like Vince. Who? inside WWE right it's just trying to read that the right way <laughs> I was just trying to read that the right way oh scripts right his name come oh he's just getting his name like that I'm not putting the hyphen in Javon Evans he's just getting it like that so it's just took me like an age to just write anything into this so it is what it is <laughs> honestly it's just got it's it's just don't go slow it has been oh, it's just so slow today Shout out to you, Gareth. You don't have to keep doing the super chats, though, dude. Just you just write your messages in and read them anyway. You don't have to keep doing that. Here's to the real wrestling fans. Hey, <laughs> Great Britain. Yeah, we are the real fans. We are the hardcore. We are the hardcore, my friend. But you don't need to keep dropping the super chats. You don't need to do that, dude. We've got the D'Angelo family backstage with... Uh, Dempsey yeah we got a problem here <laughs> backstage frac uh, friction ah oh, no worries dude but you don't need to do it my friend but thank you anyway my buddy just being involved in the chats, being a part of the community, that's that's all I really need from anybody, to be quite honest with you. Being views, putting likes on, do you know what I mean? That's what we need. Yvonne, J Javon Evans is here. We're going to see something special from this guy. No, Jesse, you are the legends. You guys in the chat are the legends. I'm just a muppet what puts my face on screen. Really looking forward to see what this kid has got. Yeah, this is our first viewing. I mean, I know he's been on Level Up. Don't watch Level Up, I've got to be honest. But I've heard enough buzz about him, so it'd be nice to see what he's got. Now we can see what the kid is all about for the first time. <coughs> Up against Scripps. I know I spelt his name wrong, but I don't care. Reggie's not important. <laughs> Uh, Yvonne is very quick this kid flips would love to see him against Ricochet would love to see him against Carmella Hayes even against Wesley that would be fun Yvonne, Javon Evans against them three guys there we're in for some fun look at how fast he is them transitions of a sweet I mean, Reggie does make it look legit anyway, because obviously he's from Circ Circus. I can't say the last bit, by the way. Cirque Soleil. There you go. I said it. It gives you a few quid for, for beers. All right, Gareth. Shout out to you, dude. Thank you. Oh, 
Uh, gets caught on that middle rope though. Scripps takes him down. Face full of uh, turnbuckle. And Scripps now uh, putting the boot into uh, the young kid. Can't believe he's only 19. It's unbelievable. Think of what he's going to be like when he's 21. Up next is that NXT Championship match. Roxanne Perez and Natalia. But we're uh, waiting to see what this young kid can do. Oh, a nice standing moonsault there by Scripps. Dave, I know I'm a legend. <laughs> nice. He's, he's, he's like rubbing off his shoulder, isn't he? Nice one, Jesse. You're all legends. <coughs> that standing somersault there. That's really cool. But Javon Evans kicking out. He's taking a beating at the minute. Come on, Javon Evans. This is not a great way, a way to start your debut. Getting beaten up by scripts. Dave, uh, Dave, you do... Do I do NXT next week? Yes, we will be live for NXT next week. We do two weeks, then we miss two weeks, then we do two weeks, we miss two weeks. That's how it works with NXT. I can't do it every week, obviously. But yeah, this is the run of two week. So we'll be back live next week as well. Next week, though, it will be just NXT. Uh, we will try and do a stream either Wednesday or... For, well, probably Wednesday as well. Well, I don't know what we'll be doing Wednesday, but not AEW, we don't do AEW. It is just my work schedule, which allows me to work, well, don't allow me to do everything every week, unfortunately. It is what it is, so like next week will be only NXT, uh, and then we'll be back the following week with Monday Night Raw and at SmackDown again. But no NXT, yeah, it's 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 shit, but it's how it works. Javon Evans beating up, uh, starting to gain a bit of momentum now. How he throws himself into the ropes, takes out uh, scripts. Oh, look at the air he gets on that, like reverse neck breaker. One, two, three, no kick out no we've not seen the best of him we need to see more uh, Days not do NXT next week he's uh, gone to the US uh, well we're definitely we're live next week for sure we are doing NXT next week so spread the news make sure that Days' crew know so if they've got somewhere to go they won't because they're the Muppets or Tommy will flipping end up doing it Oh, the OTM guys uh, nursing. Go on. Suicide dive. Here he goes. Let's see what how he flies. Wow, that is impressive, man. He gets some proper air over that top rope. This kid. Already like him. Like him is good. Scripts, though. Kicks in the midsection. Gets a kick to the face himself. They're just exchanging kicks. Superman punch. <laughs> Don't show Roman you're doing that. German suplex from Scripps, though. I'd hate to say showing experience because Buddy Scripps has got no experience. Oh, nice moonsault, but he does not connect any anywhere. Gets kicked down himself. Oh, here we go. Wow, look at this move. Nice spin. He spins in the air as he lands. I don't even know what you call that. Cox skew 360 or something. So Javon Evans gets the win. OTM come running in. He dives over the top of them and escapes. But your 19 year old debut on NXT gets the win. Shucky, shucky quack quack from uh, Booker T. What did you think of him? I feel like it, it's not the perfect match to show, showcase him at this moment, but it looks good, man. At 19. That move, he kind of just spins in the air. How, how does he get out that many spins in that? He's 
cinema. This kid, bright future, like him. Javon Evans, tick about son. So we have got Natalia. Petrovic there at the back hugging Natalia. Natalia up against Roxanne Perez. She's in a black and white ring attire now. Nice. By the time we come from back from these video packages, I might have written the match down. <laughs> Shaquem's calling it new women's champion. Do you think? Is there any? Wait, where have you got this from, Shaquem? Just out of curiosity, where's your where's your source? Because <coughs> uh, I don't know. Why are you saying that she's going to be new champ? I'm interested. Do you do you know something we don't? Because I wouldn't have thought Natalia would be taking the title. He's <coughs> doing it again. It's just taking forever to let me write stuff. He, he's okay. Needs a bit of polish, but uh, needs to flesh out a character because what do you know about him? His age, he just flips. I need more. <coughs> yeah, I've granted. I've got to say uh, that you you have the same with Wesley when he came up, when he uh, came with uh, MSK, and he went into that singles division. We didn't really know too much about him. We're start, now starting to get a character development with him. And I feel like it'll come with uh, Javon Evans. I think we'll get there with his character soon enough. This has been slow with the writing today. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Don't know how that plays out to you guys. Roxanne Perez uh, retains. Shaquem says he's got uh, he's got a feeling. Ooh, ooh. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know. I, d I don't know why you'd put the belt on Natalia. Uh, that's what I don't get. She's usually just used to build stars up, not uh, beat them down. <laughs> Diesel, Kevin Nash. Alright, why are you not letting me move that now? Scream on Scream Labs. Stop stop being a knob. Screen Screen Labs has been a complete jerk tonight, I'm telling you. It has been a jerk. It's not letting me do anything. It's just like, oh no I have to work. It's it's got five streams blues. <sighs> so it's not letting me do what I want it to do. Let me enlarge that, come on. So, there we go. Come on. It's like, honestly, I just won. Uh, Roxanne Perez has just won the championship. She's not going to lose it. Roxanne Perez probably cheat. Yeah, you put the title on her. Why would that be a transition to give it to Natalia? That yeah, I, I can see probably people saying it because of the draft, but she didn't need to lose to Natalia because there's a draft coming. Didn't uh, Paige, when she came up, won the Women's Divas Championship? Wasn't she at that time NXT champion? Come on, enlarge. There we go. Jesus Christ, Scream Labs. What is up with you tonight? Honestly, it's like, it's like pulling teeth. You don't understand at this end how much that has just been a drag. Just being able to delete a writing, write in, scream labs, sort yourself out, kid. 
Dave versus Streamlabs WrestleMania 41 Bucket Trips. <laughs> so we had the kickoff show. I mean, Ridge Holland attacking Joe Gacy. Then Joe Gacy won anyway. So Kelly Kincaid is uh, trying to catch up with Ridge Holland. She's getting her makeup done. Here's Joe. Joe Gacy's character's pretty is growing. Early. And there is LWO backstage as well. Ridge Holland has not retired, guys. It's just a gimmick. Oh, there's... He's got his hand trapped in the door. So they're trying to make out as, like, Ridge Holland's just going around being accident-prone. But everything he does turns into people getting hurt. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure I'm get, I'm too stuck on this. Natalia is on her way down to the ring. He's dangerous. He's the very old Mister Magoo, isn't he? Natalia loving life, giving a, a back rub to Booker T. Looked a bit shocked. You know what? Natalia's just loving life. She's been doing this for such a long time. Oh, nice little trademark. That is a call back to uh, Brett the Hitman Hart, by the way. They used to give his glasses. Very cool. Jay, Jay uh, Uso starts doing it now with his yeet glasses. Very cool. I like these little callbacks. Here comes the prodigy. Roxanne Perez with that stolen Tessa Blanchard start. Wonder if Tessa Blanchard's allowed her to use it. Wonder what she thinks. Because that is what Tessa Blanchard does when she comes out. I'm surprised that they've allowed her to use it, to be fair. Surely to God they can't take the title off us straight away. But she has kissed it. Usually that's not a good... I hate it when wrestlers kiss the championships. Because it usually is a kiss of goodbye. How many times have we seen it over the years? I'll change my mind, says Shaki. Alicia Taylor, she does a good job as a compare, don't she? Natalia! Roxanne Perez! Just starting, just starting to see her character flesh out, which is very cool. 
loving the heel Roxanne Perez is that championship come on Natalia says Shaquem 23 This to just be a solid little match up this. Natalia's been round the block, she's worked with Cora Jade. I think she's I think she said in an interview that she wanted to work with the likes of Roxanne Perez. I think I feel like Natalia being in NXT is a good idea. Uh Dave tagged you in some on X. Alright, mate. Let's have a look. See what you've done. Get my phone to work. Can't live sleep. There we go. Bailey, Bailey, Bailey plates. Oh, yeah, Bailey plates being added. Oh, you can get them, can't you? Wow, oh God, they're not cheap. Hundred quid. Bailey plates, side plates are a hundred pound on WWE shop. Hundred, well, hundred dollars, which would be about ninety odd dollars here in the UK. New subscriber Tiffany Johnson, shout out to you. Tiffany Johnson, hello. Uh, join the chat, Tiffany. That's nice. Female subscriber. Hello. <laughs> Make yourself known if you're in the chat right now. Always uh, good when we get new people. I always like to give a shout out as well. We're at 555 on subscribers. 555. It's very cool. Can't believe that Raw stream got over a thousand views. It's amazing. We're on the roll to 600 subs. Just the side plates. Crazy, I know. It's just the side plates. $100. $100 for side plates. Flip that. No, thank you. I'd get no use for them. <laughs> to bid is no use for them. What does this stick on the display? No, and it's a bit too much money for me. A bit too rich for my artist. But uh, yeah, channels going great. Honestly, really benefited from this mania weekend. Feel like this channel is moving in the right direction. Oh, my phone's just a buzzed. My baby, my my baby girl. Message me about something. She's wanting me to buy these stuff off of TikTok. I will do. I will get her some. Uh, Corey Johnson, aka CMR. Hello, Cody Rhodes vs. The Rock SummerSlam Roman. Cost the Rock. Apparently, I saw something today that they're planning that for Mania rather than SummerSlam. <sighs> Feel like the SummerSlam card. Days was on about it in his unseen. Oh, Chronicle! I need to watch this. I need to watch this Chronicle. I think I've seen this Chronicle though. Bailey. It's when she cut cut her hair. What what she uh, up to at two a.m. No, she don't sleep. Sleep. She's terrible. She's not worked well either. To be quite honest with you, Anna, she's uh, she's been off of school this week. 
it's a bit of poorly cold, cough, coughing a lot. And she's not really slept that well since her mum passed away, so it's not uncommon. To be fair, it's not the greatest thing in the world. We do ra rather have her asleep, but it is what it is. Roxanne Perez face planted in the middle of the ring. Natalia's going for the shot. Uh, no, not a sharpshooter. I think she's going for the ironing board. Surfboard? What do you call this? A surfboard. I call it the ironing board. Great move. All the tension in Roxanne Perez's uh, shoulder blades. Roxanne. Uh, circling round. She gets out of it. Sorry to hear that. Hope that she's uh, feel better soon. Yeah, she's she's she seemed a lot better in herself today when I went through. But yeah, she's just struggling sleeping and stuff. So ideally, I would want her asleep. She's got a busy day tomorrow. Crowd getting in the face of Roxanne Perez. <coughs> Roxanne using every advantage. She just pushes uh, Natalia into the ring, uh, ring steps. Uh, she goes nice uh, suplex onto the mat outside the ring. This is uh, where Roxanne is does her, will do her best work. Getting a lot of booze from this uh, NXT crowd. Announce desk. Face into it. And then again. Natalia's face wide open. <laughs> so they go back into the ring. Roxanne goes for the pin. She's not going to get that pinfall. Obviously uh, Roxanne will be trying her best to uh, set her up for pot rocks. Knee to the back of Natalia. Over the back. This crowd's really loud. Have these all come from uh, WrestleMania? <laughs> pretty loud. Pretty loud crowd. Roxanne. Pulling the air of uh, Natalia. She's got her in a leg vice. Let's go, Roxanne. Let's go, Natty. Tag team tonight. The uh, Wolf Dogs versus Axiom and Fraser part two. We saw part one at Stand and Deliver. That is in an headlock. She's trying to. I mean, Roxanne's got like little bumps on her elbow. But it's been busy, and she? she's had a busy weekend. Natalia scoops her up. Nice slam. Takes down Roxanne. would be a legacy thing if uh, Natalia could pull off a victory but it's just so soon why why do a transition like this don't, it don't make sense to me have have Natalia beat Valkyria if they're going to do that <laughs> Natty getting some momentum oh nice throwaway slam Goes for the pin. NXT chance now. Roxanne throws Natalia into that turn. Book of them f gets f push, pushed in there herself. Nice arm drag. But nice lariat, sweet twisting lariat from uh, Natalia. Takes down Roxanne, tries to get a pin. Only a two count. Roxanne 
looking for the trap shirt it doesn't get it roll up grab the tights roll up two quick uh, pinfall attempts cross face Natalia got a twisted kick to the midsection looking for the pop rocks here she goes pop rocks doesn't get it she gets dumped off she's getting her putting her in the center of the ring she's gonna get it locked in look at this she's got it locked in will it happen will Natalia become your world NXT champion Roxanne's fighting. She can get to that rope. She gets dragged back into the minute. She's fighting for her life right now. Perez, she's scrambling. She gets there. She has to break the hold. That was close. Very close. She, she's retreated. She's outside the ring now. Natalia followed a slap to the face. But here is Lola Vice Lola Vice kick to uh, Natty so Roxanne Perez into Pop Rocks one, two, three she gets a little bit of help from Lola Vice Lola Vice uh, it's like dancing well, well swaying her hips at ringside Roxanne retains somebody what you wouldn't have thought would come to a rescue that's why I said never mind I knew someone would get involved yeah I don't think you were going to get a title change today it would have been main event anyway if there was a title change <coughs> I think the tag team match you could Natty close again, but yet again, somebody's meddling in her business, and it's Lola Vice. Backstage, Braun Breaker. These two. Look, look at Baron Corbin, he's like got a new leash of life. Them t shirts are awesome. Wolf Dogs. Admit it, this is a good thing, huh? This is a good thing. I'm not going to admit it because you want me to admit it. Ah! NXT seems different tonight. Like it. Got a new lease of life. Yeah, it's, uh, it is weird. It's it's under the Paul Levesque era, isn't it? Yeah, it... It, it's paced differently than it normally is yeah it's got it feels like main roster feel like we've got a bit of a main roster vibe about it which is okay those t-shirts are fire they are good this is the thing right I mean I know they want Braun Breaker to go to the main roster but why break that team up when it's works because it's working why do you break that team up I don't understand it don't break the team up we're getting that uh, well we've seen the trailer we know what happens can't show us the trailer for Wrestlemania now we know what happened and yet they did take it to an all new level what happens next <sighs> Jesus Christ we're in we've got main event Jey Huso challenging Damian Priest I don't know when that match is going to go down I don't really feel right what do you think about that is that going to be a match what you would get behind at Backlash I kind of feel like you go black back Backlash and that's going to be one of your main event matches Jey Huso versus Damian Priest it's not really massive is it 
don't know. I don't know what I feel about that. That looks like a match what would be on Raw, not a, a pay per view. I don't know. Going to be a lot of work getting that match uh, up to the, the standard of main event for me. But it'll be interesting to see. I like Jay. Don't think he's quite ready. There we go. Smackdown. Cody. Bailey. Oh, our truth. What's up? Truth. Our truth game show. I need to see this R Truth game show. The Boston Crab. Oh my god. This looks cool. But why have I never watched this? Now available on demand. I need to watch all of them. What do you think? I had truth game show. That looked wild. The A list entertainer, Miz and Maurice. WWE Network. <laughs> Highlighted by over 700 million views. WrestleMania 40 is the most socially viewed WrestleMania of all time and the most viewed weekend in WWE history. Wow. 700 million times. World Heavyweight Champion at... Uh, uh, Damien Priest stopped by the Yankee Stadium today. That uh, that truth game show looks fun. Might give it a watch tomorrow. Yeah, this might be something that uh, we need to watch. Kind of like the fact that he's talking to wrestlers in their own environment. I kind of like that. Sick and tired of waiting for opportunities. Says Lola Vice. Does she get attacked here? There's Natalia. From behind. <laughs> now you're going to get your opportunity, right? Next week. Referees come piling in. These two women are at it. Love a good cat fight. Close, rip, close off. Ripper, close off. <laughs> Pull in the air. Look at that. It's like, it's, wait, why? <laughs> We've got Dempsey. No caught a catch crew are in. Well, they, any one of these can defend. No quarter catch crew. And it looks like it's these two, which is uh, Damon. Damon Kemp and the other guy. Up against the family, Luca and Sticks. The family versus no quarter. I'm just going to call them no quarter. No quarter. We're not going to give him the full name because I can't be bothered. But so there we go. Family versus no quarter. Forget about it. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Getting sticks, new pun intended. 
So Damon Kemp kicking off nice uh, drag. Here comes the other dude. I don't really know the other dude, if I'm being honest. Miles. We're going to call him Miles. Very young talent. Luca taking him down. Here comes Stex. Stex, nice uh, punch. Knees to the midsection. Stax Lorenzo takes down Miles, kick to the midsection while he's down, gets him into the corner. Luca, the bump live tomorrow, 1 a.m. at Eastern Peacock. Priority passes on sale now for money in the bank. <coughs> That is uh, coming from Canada this year. They're all over the place. This WWE this year. God, we've got Clash in the Castle in Scotland. We've got Backlash in Buddy Paris. Bash in Berlin. Obviously in Germany. Jesus, they're all over the place. One thing they're not. They're not doing a live show in Leeds this year again. That's two years with no first direct arena live shows. Disgraceful. Closest there are to me this year is Birmingham. Stax goes into the corner. The Miles gets pulled away. The advantage to no quarter catch crew. Punching Stax in the corner is Damien Kemp. Or Damon Kemp. Brother of uh, what's his face? What's his name now? Uh, I'm gonna say that other guy's face, and I can't even remember his name now. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Why can I not think of him? Drop kick anyway, don't matter. Miles Vaughn, get it, trying to get the pin on Stacks. Stacks gets grabbed by the air, punched down. Well, Bond got him, throws him into the other corner. Stax gets his legs up, though, gets underneath uh, Damon Kemp. Gar's in for the tag. Luke is in. Luke gets in, starts taking everybody down. Close line, close line. Goes under. Shoulder tackle. Hip toss into a net breaker. Going again. Dempsey gets on the ring ropes, distraction. But but Luca is able to get the roll up, gets thrown off, into the ropes, choke. Jumping net breaker. Gabe, Gabe Stevenson, very very good Dylan. I was testing all your knowledge. Uh, Kemp takes out uh, Miles. Dempsey joins the ring. Stax, distraction, double team for the family. Luca, referee, one, two, three. Family win. Family use the distraction. Luca and Stax win. Forget about it. No, no quarter, no victory today. Last Saturday, yep, we saw this. This is for the North, the uh, announcement of the no women's North American title. There it is in its all its glory, the first women's North American Championship. Well, how do we get there? What uh, is it going to involve a tournament maybe? Oh my god, 
please no Booker T has just shook his booty no you didn't just see that here comes Obafemi this guy is an absolute beast who is going to challenge him who would want to challenge him this guy look at him jeez man Oba Femi another young lad Oba Femi The Na true Nigerian warrior Just look at him, he is a beast man. But you feel like he will get a challenger. Who's brave enough to take this guy down? Some things in life are just inevitable. Dominic Dijak is going to come out in it. It's going to try and ratio and Obafemi. I'd have won it if it hadn't been for Josh Briggs being in the match. Hmm. <sighs> And yep, maybe the North American champion for quite some time. God, it's I. It's Ivar. Red Ivar is here. What is he doing in NXT? He talks. Ivar talks. Who knew? And he speaks English. Who knew? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I am just as shocked as you guys. Ivar is here. And he seems to be missing uh, a certain Valhalla. Big, beefy man. Some man meat. Get ready for some meat, guys. Slurp that meat. Slap that meat. Let's fucking go, yeah, man. This is quite good. I quite like this. This is uh, this is fresh. Ivar's been doing some great shiz on uh, Raw as a single competitor. It's just nice to see him a little bit unleashed. I kind of like it. It's pretty cool. This match will be flipping, meat slapping, hard hitting. Reinforce the ring, please, WWE. <laughs> I 
wants to be in the fight. Yeah. This is good. I'm liking it. Why have they never let him use the mic before? He's actually quite good. He's delivering this really, really well. Who knew that Ivar had a promo in him? Meter Mania is running wild, brother. It is. Some right beef. We shall see. Oh. He stops. Obafemi. Oh, Ed Butt. They're slapping meat, guys. They're slapping meat. Nice cartwheel by Ivar. Be careful, them uh, jeans. I don't think are reinforced. Nice body slam. Nice cross body. Takes down Oberfemi. He's riled, man. Oh, Ivar. Going for the North American title. Oberfemi down. Let's slap some meat, y'all. Let's slap some meat. Looking forward to that battle. Oh, we got Metaphor backstage. Okay, I did not hear a single word that Lash Legend has just said. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is this. Well, now we get NXT after Mania as well. Oh, yeah. NXT after Mania. Where we don't just get stars from w uh, NXT going to Raw. We get Raw stars going to NXT. <laughs> Imagine Rock's showing up. Dum, dum, dum. No, half of them are in Philadelphia. This is just the guys what didn't go to Philly. It's Dijak, baby. Dijak, absolutely killing it. Absolutely love Dijak. Ratio. Less ratio, more sunshine. Consider this a running. Everyone gets one. Don't get another. Well, the uh, wolf dogs there backstage. Ting. The belts here is Frasier and Axiom. That is uh, the main event, obviously. Oh, we've got something else going off here. OTM back in action. OTM back. It's a very OTM night tonight, isn't it? Oh, it's Jada Parker, though. Yeah, she's up against the uh, uh, Brinley or something. Uh, dude, I'm looking forward to the draft. It's going to be interesting. It gets better. <laughs> and it's better doing it now. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming at the right time. It's always good to do a draft straight after Mania so that you can move the storylines. Start building new storylines. So we've done. We've, we've done everything leading up to Mania. We need to just start doing different things. Brinley. I think that's how you say your name and I'm going to absolutely bodge Jada Parker's name up I think that's how you spell the names I am not 100% sure but we'll go with it 
These two are kind of like the up and comers. So it's good. It's pretty just nice to see new faces on the show. Uh, not really expecting too much from these guys, to be honest. So Brin Brinley, Vince Jada. Fresh, fresh stars. It's is it just me or is this girl's too much, like Fiorello? What the blonde haired girl? Oh, uh, Brinley Reese. Yeah, I think uh, she, I think she's a, a mix of Sol Ruka and Fiorello. I don't know if there's uh, room on the roster for two. Highly jumping around. Dave, what a great stream, mate. Oh, I don't know. I feel it. I feel like it's. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this stream. It's not been as fun. I don't know. I, I feel like it's been more of a chore today. I don't know. If you've enjoyed it, then fair enough. We have mi been missing a little bit of fire in the chat. Not gonna lie, but it's been all right. The show's not been too bad. Like the fact that we've had Natalia. Like the fact we've had Hivar show up. That's kind of cool because I went. I'm not expecting Hivar. It's just nice to get these little things. You know, I quite like this show. It's not. It's not been the best I've seen. But it's nice to see that uh, Shawn Michaels is going. Well, you might have had some of my stars. I need some of yours. <laughs> bit of trading like it this makes me think what do we see on Smackdown Smackdown after Mania what do we have on Smackdown cool I'm glad if you're enjoying it that makes it me feel better because I feel like I don't know it's not been as easy this stream for me I'm feeling tired that's all it's not a reflection on you guys I'm just tired my body's tired five days of streaming not sure it's I'm cut out for that and old days is uh, the master me I'm I've, I've been enjoying it though I've enjoyed this run my voice is not enjoying it though streaming on the network ah that is Beth Phoenix Jessica's I'm enjoying it <laughs> good 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 I'm glad you are it's not that I'm not it's just that I'm tired I did go into this like a little bit subdued <coughs> it's weird that we're getting these stupid video packages in the middle of a female match Beth Phoenix literally paved the way for the likes of Rhea Ripley. If it hadn't been for Beth Phoenix, we probably wouldn't have seen the different variety of female stars that we get today. It's great that we can watch women's wrestling and we don't have to have that stereotypical blonde-haired, bimbo, stick-thing, supermodel wrestling. Do you know what I mean? Like we did back in the Attitude Era, they all looked the flipping same. We've now got genuine across the board in wrestling now. You just look at AEW, how many variations of female talent there is. Uh, TNA is a classic example. There's you've got the muscle bound Jordan Grace, and then you, you have a look at some of the rest of the women on that roster who are not like just big boned. When I say big bone, they're, they're not fat. I hate using that word, but they're, they're a bigger lady. But they can move. They've got the moves. They can. They, they make the ring their own. It's so good to see. That's what I like about female wrestling now is that it's not stereotypical. It's just great to see different shapes, different sizes, different characters what's happened to Wendy Chu we haven't seen Wendy Chu in ages need her back she had a really good gimmick there's uh, 
blades and a, a dolphy not to be confused as one person Malik Blades and Ebus Adolfi, I think it is. Obviously, they're in the corner of Breeley, Brinley Reese. See, a bit scrappy, this to just like pushing each other in the middle of the ring. Uh, Shaquille 23 says I can't wait until the tag team match yeah that's the main event which is not going to be far away obviously we go into overtime with NXT so there's uh, about 40 odd minutes left uh, she's injured she should be coming back soon Wendy Chu is she the one what used to be in her pyjamas and carrying a blanket yeah that's Wendy Chu yeah, I just like the gimmick. It was fresh. It was something new, and she could she 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 could wrestle. Uh, but yeah, she just brought something different to the table. Character building, which I feel for a long time we weren't getting with female wrestlers. Now we're getting it in abundance, and I kind of I really like that. You know what I mean? Bring, bring more characterized wrestlers. That's that's what really bugged me about like Liv Mid Morgan. Liv Morgan <laughs> is that her character development sucked I don't. I still don't really see where her character is she started off with a riot squad and then she started all being seductive and all that lot being mysterious and then yeah I just don't think we've got kind of got where she, her character was to be were we cheering her on as the underdog or was she meant to be overbooked I don't know Still don't know with that character. She changes the ring attire more times than I change my socks. They still not doing a bad job. I don't really know that much about these two if I'm being fair. I think they they came in the breakout tournament. What happened to Boa? He's still around. I think they wrestle more now on uh, main event and level up and all that light stuff. But I still think around. It's like Xia Lee. We saw her at Royal Rumble. We haven't seen that much of her on TV since then. We need to see more. Parker gets the victory. Jada Parker has won. So there you go, OTM get the victory with Jada Parker. Clearly scripts lost earlier now. Oh god, we've got Ariana Grace backstage. That's so so Rook yeah, so Rooker as well. Ariana Grace. Very cool. Just sent you another picture of Liv Morgan, my friend. God. Scoured. scoured. You, you got this from your personal collection. Very ev female heavy show tonight, yeah. There's Lola Vice. You know what, though? I don't mind that. It just shows where we've moved on. Very male dominated show last night. NXT. Females. And we love it. A female division is fire right now. Got some amazing talent down in NXT. Uh, look at the locker room there Fallon Helen, Gigi Golan Sol Ruka, Lash Legend all it there here we go unites a main event NXT Tag Team Championship on the line 
Axiom. Frasier. Wolf dogs. Let's go. Could they do what we expect them to do? They could win the Tag Team Championship tonight. This could be a good little match. Dave, how did you know that I had a private collection? Have you been snooping around on my phone? Look, you're just a dirty pervert. I'm not surprised. I bet you've got private pictures of Jade. Soraya. And of course Raquel. And Shayna. No champs, yes or no? Yeah. I. You know what? I'm going to say yeah. This is main event. Why would you give them a second shot if you're not going to switch the tags? But the problem I have with it, splitting these two up when I love them, I love this team. You've got to take that full team up to the main roster. You can't split these two up. That's my problem. I don't want to split them up. I like the chemistry between Corbin and Bre uh, Breaker. <sighs> they work well together. It's keeping Baron Corbin uh, relevant. One fall. We saw one retained title tonight. Wolf dogs. Begs the question, why didn't they just do this? It says that, isn't it? These need a tag name, don't they? Axiom. I don't know if I spelt that right. Is that too much of a C? Do we need that C? We'll go that way. We probably did need that C. No, oh, I had it right. I did do it right. There we go. Wolf Dogs vs. Frasier and Axiom. Kind of like Ben Corbett, Brian Baker. They've been a good, good at times. Kind of like Ben Corbett. Who's Ben Co Ben Corbett? I don't I don't know who them two are. They they Baron Corbin and Bron Breaker. I don't know that's Shaki. It's like he's what I don't know. Watching two Ronnies, I think, Ronnie Corbett. And Ronnie Barker. <laughs> is that what you were going for, Shaquem? What G2 Ronnie's is pretty Shaquem. Yeah, you're going to love that. It's what G2 Ronnie's. It's not watching Wolf Dogs. It's watching Porridge. Look at this. Somebody said that the ring moved at Stand and Deliver. Very cool. Frasier. This is going to be fast. We, we, I like this match at Stand and Deliver. Yeah, they just mentioned it now on commentary. They shifted the ring. It's cool. Like that. He did. He shifted the ring. He made it move. Nice elbow. Uh, he's got tie up. Flipped out. Baron's got Frazier. Oh, I froze him over. Some height on that throw. Watch them lose now. <laughs> even though the show, uh, even though the show that yet is uh, show was way better than Raw. Even though the show that we yet this show is way better. Than, you think this is better than Raw? I don't know. I don't know the hype for Raw. I think the matches have been better on this show. Yeah, I'm the Foss boss. The Binal Foss. Bron Breaker goes through the middle. Uh, Exium. Nice through. The middle takes out Corbin. Frazier takes out Breaker. 
They're just flying. They we saw this on Saturday. They just kept on running in, flying out, running in, flying out. Exium. Oh, nice moonsault off the top. Taking out Breaker and Baron. Hey, next two. As we go to another video package break. Special event. Hall of Fame. Paul Heyman's buddy acceptance speech. If you don't believe me, you can suck my dick. So good. So, so good. Honestly, I... See, it's like a million years ago now when I watched the bloody all of it. Ah, everything this weekend. It's all blurred into one. <laughs> did Cody finish his story? Or did I sleep through that? Did I dream that? Did you miss the big return on war? Did you miss that title change on SmackDown? Then watch this week. Scott Stanford. <laughs> Juices, oozes. First day this week. FC Darby. A lot of the. Uh, need to watch this actually. FCW, the place that created superstars. Roman Reigns, Alexa Bliss, Sasha Banks. No, they can't claim Daniel Bryan. FCW did not create Daniel Bryan. He was already, already the American Dragon before he even to, turned up there. He was already an independent superstar anyway. Can't claim him. That's a... Uh -uh. Rivals. The Showcase. WrestleMania. I'd like to see Dave Meltzer's ratings now for Mania. Go through them all and see where he's rated each match. See if he, we were close to his ratings. That's uh, That'd be something I'd like to see. wonder if he's published them yet. <sighs> Monday Night Raw. Oh, Kofi Mania, baby. Kofi did it, Kofi did it. Kofi is champion. Staggering six hour long Mania. Du -du. Undefeated tag team. Oh god, I'm getting tired. Oh, I, I am flagging now. I am proper getting tired. I actually can't believe I survived so much through Raw. And now it gets to this one. I'm like, ah. You could tell I'm tired. Look at my eyes. I barely looked at myself in that screen, you know, tonight. Oh good. And it needs to be in the what? Free brand. What what now? I can't see because of that love art. Fraser <sighs> up gets caught though by Breaker. Breaker the show is some amazing uh, power, but it gets caught into a DDT. Axiom up top. Breaker puts himself in position. Gets the frog splash on him. 
Don't oh, oh 360. 450, 360. I don't know which my I don't know my degrees. Six degrees. <laughs> Look at that move. Boom. Do get saved by Corbin. Free brand. Go to CW. It will be good for NXT. It will be like Fox. Ah, oh, when they go to CW. Be a good move for them. Getting back on uh, proper network. Uh, Frazier's caught in an headlock. Drop down one, two, kick out Voaxium. Didn't get the job done. Corbin's like, what? The look of confusion on Baron Corbin. Like, you didn't get it done, mate. What? Uh -huh. He's putting him up on his shoulders, but he's getting hit by Axiom. Axiom turns round, throws him down. Baker's up on the top rope, caught drop kick. It's teetering. He hasn't gone down yet. Yep. Ah, oh, here we go. We've seen this move off the top. Bulldog off the shoulders of Corburn. One, two. Exium does stop it. He kicks actually. Pretty Fraser. If you look at that, he kicks him. Uh, next T chance. Uh, next T. Uh, next T. Been, it's been alright. This, this has been very similar to what we saw at the weekend. <laughs> Come on. Baron's struggling to get back to his feet. So is Frazier. Frazier's holding on to that top rope. Uses it. It's been round. Nice and Zaguri kick. Goes to the knees. Kick to the knees. Corbin goes down to the outside. Axiom is your legal man. Frazier's going to fly. Through the middle. Gets caught though by uh, Corbin into the ring steps. Uh, Corbin's in, he's got Axiom up, plants him down. Up he goes, Axiom though, gets away. Oh, nice step, like drop kick. It was going, golden ratio caught, breaker. Oh, nice close line though by Corbin, taking Axiom off his feet. Another clothesline, but Fraser's back in. Super kick. Knee catches Fraser though from Breaker. Setting up for a spear. Spear runs. He oh, runs into Corbin, who manages to stop the momentum. But they'll get dropped, kicked into each other anyway. Kick to the face of Corbin. They're going up. New no champs could be. He's going up. Frazier up. That's that. 460. One, two, three. New tag team champions. Axiom Fraser. It's weird that they've waited a couple of days. Could have done this at Stand and Deliver, but we waited. I mean, if we'd done it here instead of NXT. Nathan Frazier, Axiom. Are you new NXT champions? Oh, the breakup of Wolf Dogs. Uh, do they just have a feud before they get drafted? Just got shafted here on, on uh, NXT this Tuesday. They're getting drafted. They've just got shafted. <laughs> they did it. Golden ratio, the Phoenix Splash. 
there you go there is a Brendan Fraser UK wrestler with a tag team championship Anna was right she did it she did get it wrong <laughs> Anna's right she did get it wrong oh oh my god it's off as a pain it is carrying Scarlet off as a pain attack from behind oh carrying back in NXT final testament Ah, oh, this what the fuck yeah <laughs> holy shit this is just getting legit big move NXT after mania just brought you off as a pain final testament these guys former NXT tag team champions as well there's Carrion look at the final testament chaos the guy behind him just cannot believe it ah. <laughs> we've got trick whoop that trick is just to come he's up next man we're not expecting that man yeah that that surprise omg oh oh aop uh want their titles back makes sense they won't really be news that well on Smackdown to be fair yeah I'm liking this it's cool you've got Hi Ivar sniffing that North American Championship you've got AOP sniffing the Tag Team Championship hey this is good man NXT is fucking cooking bruv it's bruv <laughs> NXT killing it tonight. Here they are. What did I give Raw last night? 7.5, didn't I? This has been notched. This is higher than that. We've got tag team title tag terms. What do I always say about titles changing? This has been the show. Of, uh, this has been the better show. I reckon match scores will be in the great got to be in the great the, uh, you've had so much Javon Evans making his debut this, this show has had a lot of female matches on it as well uh, it's just been good man it's a shame my uh, streaming service has not been as good <laughs> Try to write in Trick Williams and it's it's like taking its time again. Uh, changing my inner Osprey. You're channeling your inner Osprey. I thought you were, bruv. The sandwiches in catering are, like, <laughs> are really nice, bruv. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Osprey. Don't, I don't really like his gimmick style, to be honest. So we've got whoop that trick. Do we see Carmella Reyes again? Trick Willins was rumoured to be on Raw last night, but obviously didn't show up. Maybe this is the reason why. Trick Williams promo. So you got Trick Williams. Whoop that trick. Looks like Shawn Michaels has had Weetabix today. This show is crazy good. It has been good though, hasn't it? You know what? I was empty anxious going into this live stream thinking, oh, it's not going to be that good. So I've been alright, on it? I like the inclusion of Ivar. AOP. Class. Obviously, we always talk about Raw after Mania. Nobody talks about NXT after Stand and Deliver. I'm how hopeful for SmackDown now. Even more so. Because it's literally anybody could show up. Anybody could show up on these shows this week. And I think, are they testing the waters for uh, the draft? To see what who fits where. Kind of think we're testing the waters a little bit now. I 
Right. Do do do. There it is. Last Saturday, Carmilla Hayes. Are we just seeing the uh, all the other highlights? Roxanne. There'll be a hell. This trick, the main event. The Japanese uh, female at the back just showing off her wolf dog t shirt. I'm surprised we haven't seen uh, Julia. Uh, it looks like Shawn Michaels has wandered around catering at Raw and uh, said, uh, sad, and said, see you Tuesday, and you, and you, wah, wah, wah. Ivar's just there eating his uh, chicken wing. Shawn goes, do you want a job? Here's uh, LWO next week. Whacking Wild going up against Ridge Holland. Noam Da next week as well. Die Jack. Well, we'll be live for this next week. Got Sol Luke in action next week against Lola Vice. This is what I love about NXT. We get the matches announced a week early. It's a stack show as well. Trick finishes. Trick finishes story. It's not even started his story yet. Two cracked ribs. Ooch. Work that trick. Julia. Is she on there? <laughs> Not yet. She we haven't seen her. They haven't shown her in the crowd. Maybe she's just she's done. She has appeared on pretty much everything this weekend. Maybe they're just letting her chill a little bit. She has got dates to uh, be finished with before she can officially make a debut. Whoop that trick. Trick finishes story. NXT is hotter now than it's ever been. True flipping right it is. NXT. Over 16,000 in the uh, Wales Fargo Centre. Whoop that trick. Oh, look at this crowd loving it. <laughs> Can't mill away, he's definitely going to the main roster. <coughs> Carmella Hayes is him. One thing remains. Ah, I had to show the world. I had to show him who Trick Williams is. Let's talk about it. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> Challenging Cody, isn't he? Yeah, he's mentioned Cody. Huh? I need to finish my story. Point 
but it's at that trick finish your story wonder if he's been planted Dragon off I need to slay that man dragon become the NXT champion it's challenging dragon off get yourself out here let's talk about it dragon off will he answer here he comes We've seen this match before. Ooh, trick. Ilya, yes, please. Yeah, we've seen this battle before. NXT champion Ilya Dragunov versus Trick Williams. Yes, please. With no Carmella Hayes influence. Trick Willie is the main event of Stand and Deliver. He's so proud of him. Trick Willie Charisma. Gotta remember, Dragonoff was on Raw yesterday beating Nakamura. What this brand needs is Trick Williams dragging off one more time for that NXT Championship. One more match. because you got revenge with Carmella Hayes you're hungry for this but no he said no to trick said no <laughs> you had your chance and failed let somebody else have a shot he's literally just turned him down Should have more of this in wrestling where the wrestlers go, no, I don't want to face you, bye. <laughs> what? You, you don't want to fight me? No, no. Don't deserve it, bugger off. Resistance is a great attribute. Nearly swallowed his words up there, did uh, Lilia? Love that you want. Uh, <laughs> Love that you want to uh, what say no. Spin break. You've got your championship match at stream uh, spring break. You lose when I beat you. You leave NXT. Loser. If he wins, he wins NXT Championship. If he loses, he leaves NXT. That just means he's going to the main roster. If I can't beat you, I can't slay that man, Dragon. Challenge accepted. Stipulation. Spring breaking. Carmella Hayes for attack from behind hits Lilia Dragonoff as well. Code breaker. Their feud is not over. Triple threat spring breaking, maybe. Carmella Hayes out of nowhere. I knew they couldn't leave it like that. It seemed a little bit flat to have left the show that, that way. But here we go. 
Carmelo Hayes is uh, putting himself into this uh, situation yet again. Mella got whooped. <laughs> this did chant. Oh, Carmella Hayes with Trick Williams. Steel cage next week. Let's go. Accident trick kicked Lilia in the head. Oh, God. <laughs> I know Lilia's down, man. <laughs> He's proper selling it, though. So, sell. Trick Williams, Carmilla Hayes next week. Oh, next week is going to be brilliant. Ah, what do you score that? Man. That was good, man. That was good. That was good. That is loud, WWE. Jesus Christ, that is loud. Next week, Steel Cage, Carmella Hayes, Trick Williams. Fuck. Hello. Next week looks fire, man. We are live for that as well. So many matches there announced for next week. That's proper cool. Jeez. Get your scars in. What did you think? What did you think? What have you got? What scores have you got? 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. What did you score? Raw? You scored raw like 5.2 or something. Didn't you? You scored that quite low yesterday. 8.5. When Trick landed from the stunner, he kicked Lilia in the face with his shoes, did he? I need to watch that back actually. I need to see that again. That is that is class. Uh eight point five, that's a good score, isn't it? I'm at an eight. I'm not gonna lie, I'm at an eight. I, I enjoyed that. That was good. That was good for a wrestling's point of view. Raw was very promo heavy last night. This is a score for the wrestling. And just APL, A, 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 O, P. Love that, Ivar. Who thought he had a promo in him? That's what I'm shocked at. Who knew that Ivar could talk? Are oh, you give it a 5.10 uh, out of 10 yesterday? I did, I, I loved Raw. Raw was good. This was better. I gave Raw 7.5. This is definitely just an 8. No, I'm, no, I am going to go a bit above that. Actually, why not? I'm feeling generous. 8.25. That is my score for Raw. Uh, for NXT tonight. 8. Point two five for NXT. <sighs> NXT Cup tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna get. That's my score. Eight point two five. I think it deserved it for NXT show with all the main roster appearances. Brought the score up. Yep. Yeah, I'm at that. Just the Ivar promo. I didn't know he had it in him. Why is that something that I'm shocked at? Get that guy on mic. He is legit flipping good. So yeah. Natalia put on a good show against Roxy. Uh, yeah, I just thought it were a good show. There, there, there were a lot of matches on again tonight. So yeah, I thought it were. Seeing Javon Evans debut. There's a lot of potential there with him. So that's pretty good. So yeah, yeah, that's where I'm at. Anyway, that is it for tonight. Thank you so much for stopping by. I finally finished the five days of Dave streams. Oh, I deserve a rest. We all deserve a rest. I know a lot of you will be watching AEW tomorrow night. Then TNA <laughs> it never stops, does it, wrestling? Ah. 
Dave, I'll give it an eight as well, mate. Good, Dave. Great stream. Enjoy. Yeah, thanks. It's been fun. Thank you, Anna, for stopping by. You, you're, you're a legend, mate. Legend. Love it when uh, we've got you guys in the chat. Always a pleasure, never a chore. It's just tired now. It's bedtime, sleep, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, back for Friday for SmackDown. Uh, if it's anything like these last couple of days, it's going to be a blast. It's going to be unmissable. So, yeah, make sure you're around for SmackDown this Friday. Because, uh, yeah, hopefully this cold's gone away before then. <laughs> Doubt it. But we can hope. Anyway, uh, I've been Dave in real life. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. This has been a one crazy ride. Enjoyed every second though. So yeah, I'm off to go and get some much needed rest. And I'll catch you all on Friday for SmackDown. Uh, try and get some more videos out this week. There's a few ideas that I've got cooking. And obviously unmissable on Friday for that SmackDown show. Yeah, night dudes. Uh, James Knight, homeboy. boy.